following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. Well, we're under a little pressure today. As you can see from the DAX, we gapped down and have uh, continued to go a little bit lower here. Uh, folks, this is going to be an interesting day here because if we've, we've already damaged uh, a very significant spot here that we talked about yesterday. I'll bring this up so you can take a look at it. That was when we were trading at the uh, 2753 level. We pointed out that 2737 was a very, very important level, and that if we went below that, and we did, we took out the lows uh, that we made recently down there at 2710, and we're not too far away from there right now. So that's what we're watching here this morning. If you'll bear with me here one second, I need to uh, I need to turn off a uh, limit minder because it's telling me that there's some serious prices being hit and of course when we're doing that we're looking at the uh, the Nasdaq so if you'll give me one second here we'll see if we can uh, get this straight now we do have a uh, a full moon coming up tomorrow and also we have our good friend uh, Norm Winsky will be our guest here uh, so that'll be another interesting one you know, to uh, take a look at. But we, we've really started to, to break down here seriously, folks. So we could be looking at something um, very, very sinister. It's already sinister when you're down 350 points in the Dow. But we could be looking at something even uh, far greater than that. All we have to do is to go back and look at some of these other moves that we've seen here uh, over the past year. And you'll see that we would be looking at the same type of move that we had, you know, way back between January and February, that ABCD structure comes in 100 points lower uh, in the S&P, and we could certainly get there without uh, too much, without too much trouble. Now we do have a uh, small ABCD pattern in the um, three drive pattern in the uh, Nasdaq, but we just we just violated it to the downside, so that's not a very good sign. But we also uh, we also have a uh, uh, this full moon coming up, and that ought to be pretty much for a little bit of a bounce. Now, we'll see that. And the problem is, this is a Tuesday, and if you remember Tuesday a week ago, we were down 800 points in the Dow, and it looks like uh, something is uh, moving. Uh, Terry, you're talking about that 30-year bond. All we're doing now, buddy, is we're just making those retracement trades in a bear market. That's all we're looking at. Remember, we were looking at that 139 and change level. It had a really good chance of rallying. That was one of the things that we uh, we talked about. Uh, in fact, we talked about it on Monday, too, because the market looks so bearish. That takes us up to that 139.20 level. So that'll be an interesting one. You know, to see how that uh, uh, sell, see how that hope see how that holds up. But the opening this morning will be uh, rather critical, as it always is. But that number on the T bonds, I'll give it to you um, because the we've we've now taken out the highs of October 11th. That's one of the things that we were looking for to do. We'll just bring this up here, so you'll be able to see where we are. And I will draw in the pattern, so you'll be able to see the last rally that we had. This would be a four-hour chart. And when you get this, you'll be able to get an idea. Uh, this has been a market that has been extremely oversold. And you'll notice that that comes in around the 139.12 level. That's about 12 ticks from where we are right now, which 12 ticks in that market is uh, certainly not very much. But it will be very, very interesting to see if it's going to uh, get there. The market is extremely oversold in Treasury bonds, so even going above that number would be uh, would be quite a bit. Now, another one that is completed that has made a monster move here for us that we've been waiting for for a very long time, and that has been in the gold market. We've now completed the uh, the big ABCD move uh, up here at the 12 uh, uh, 43 level, whether that's going to stop the move or not, but it has certainly completed the, the ABCD structure that we've been waiting for for such a long time. And the problem is I can't find the doggone chart, and I just did it five minutes ago. 
shut the front door and raise the rent. Boy, when these markets are moving, they certainly are moving. But they uh, that one is complete. If you'll, you know, like they say, defy human nature, uh, do the work yourself, and you'll be able to see it uh, without too much trouble. You can actually see it on this one right here. Let me just get the uh, four-hour chart. This is the one we were looking at right here. Uh, you'll notice that that 1.27 expansion up there at that 1243 level, that completes the big ABCD pattern when we had the 61% retracement down there at 1185. And um, the uh, those of you that uh, I know it's hard to, to say this is where you should take profits, but this is where we should take profits if you're you know, still long that gold, and I know many of you are. So uh, that's, the you know, you've got to do it. I mean, when the prices get there, you just got to come in and, see if that's going to uh, to hold that level. So we'll watch it very, very close to here. The market most probably this morning is going to get pretty volatile, uh, like, like it doesn't need any help at all. We're trading at 27.12 uh, in the S&P. The old low, of course, was at 27.10. That's the one we broke out just a few years, a few weeks ago. But folks, we're seeing really bad weakness in things like crude oil that should have had a pretty good bounce and the amount, the bounce equated to a really much of a dead cat bounce. All it was was about uh, a buck and a half, and we've given all of that back. Plus, uh, in last night's trading, we went from the 78% level at 69.60 in December crude, and now we're trading a full two points under that, uh, $2 a barrel under that, which is a very, very negative sign. So want to watch that one uh, very, very closely. The opening this morning is going to be interesting because being down 300 points, it doesn't take much, you know, to accelerate it to the downside. That's uh, that's for sure. So just a just few of the things that we're keeping an eye on. And, you know, I just want to let you know also in that Dow Jones, uh, let's get that one up here. We've broken below that level also. Uh, that's another one that We've been watching uh, very, very, here's that, here's the uh, gold, just one second here, it takes me a while to get them, and you'll be able to see, you know, there's the gold, we're, we're just completing that ABCD there at the uh, 1242 level, uh, we've been as high as 1243, probably go a little bit higher based on the opening this morning, so those are a couple that we're really watching. Folks, here's what happened, the, the reason why the market is so darn weak today is because of this next chart. This is that chart we talked about yesterday, about that Hang Seng was supposed to be lower, and then it gapped up and then ran up to, to be up 600 points. Folks, we've given all of that back. We're back down to the to the lows again. Boy, when you see stuff like that, that is not a bullish chart pattern, and uh, you certainly don't want to, uh, you know, stand in front of that puppy because it's really got a spot where, you know, it could really, uh, really cause some problems uh, if you think you're long because these bottoms, when they don't hold, they go uh, substantially more uh, to the downside. So just watch that very, very closely. The emotionalism here is going to be very strong here for the next couple of days. We've been talking about that volatility. Uh, we have this uh, full moon coming in tomorrow. Norm Winsky will be our guest at the half hour, and he'll be able to talk to us about uh, some of these astro things. But uh, this market has been telling you for a long time that it wanted to go lower, and here we are, and it looks like we're going to be going lower still. So let's uh, let's watch it and see what happens. 877-927-6648. The Taz Profile Scanner Plus, developed by John Logan and his team, is a standalone piece of software that can change the way you trade. Let the Taz Profile Scanner work for you by scanning over 5,000 financial instruments such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. Right now, you can get a 30-day free trial to the Taz Profile Scanner Plus right at TFNN.com. And when you sign up, you gain instant access to John Logan its most recent webinar, How Price, Volume, and Time Make Market Profiles So Unique. This hour-long webinar with John Logan will walk you through the most powerful features of the scanner and how you can use it to become a more successful and profitable trader. You pay absolutely nothing for 30 days while you try out this software risk-free. For more information on the Taz Profile Scanner and to get your 30-day free trial today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. 
Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. The Path of Least Resistance, David White's daily market letter, gives you trade recommendations based on David's proprietary power law vector indicator that put the odds of success overwhelmingly in your favor. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stop price for each stock and option trade. David combines his years of trading experience along with his background in technology and computing to offer his subscribers his take on the markets on a daily basis. Every trading day by 9.30, David publishes his morning issue of the Path of Least Resistance, along with updates sent out throughout the week whenever there is new, actionable trading information. All new subscribers receive a 30-day, no-questions-asked, money-back guarantee. To sign up for David White's daily trading newsletter right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com, and you'll find the Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. C call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, for folks, I want to bring up the Dow Jones also to show you that it is also broken down. We've taken out the low of October 11th. That's suggesting that we're going to go a little bit lower, but uh, that's pretty good uh, support down here. We're down 350 points. Uh, I believe we're going to see a lot more on any of these days, but uh, we are breaking below the key support. So just be really careful if you're long stocks in here and be careful if you're short stocks in here, because at any point you could get some type of a huge rally that uh, could take these uh, markets to areas that will probably scare all of us, which we hope they never do. All right, let's take a look at one other thing that looks interesting here in the next day or two, and that is the, the little quiet little corn market. As you can see here in corn, we went up to that 12, uh, uh, excuse me, <laughs> I've got the S&P. Anyway, the gold, I mean, if you look at this, you'll see the 13, uh, the, the 378 level in corn. We've sold off about 12 cents. We have that full moon coming in tomorrow. So you want to keep an eye on that because that looks interesting. We also showed you the wheat yesterday, and that's another one that looks very, very interesting. So watch those closely. I know they're a little bit less glamorous than the ones that we're looking at in the stock index futures and gold and some of the others, but they still set up really nicely. So uh, those are ones that line up pretty nicely. If you remember, yesterday we talked about the December hogs, and I wanted to get this up here to let you folks take a look at it. You see, we went right down to the exact 61%, excuse me, 50% retracement. Uh, it was also a beautiful ABCD pattern there, and we closed uh, two cents higher. So if you bought those hogs yesterday, put your stop at 51 cents so that you're at a break-even trade. Now it's free, so you don't have to you know, worry about loss. Shut your eyes, don't watch it on the monitor, and then you'll be... Uh, You'll be pretty much, uh, you know, looking at things. So we're, we're starting to see some increased weakness this morning here as the stocks have now broken below that 1090 again. And it looks like we're going to be going down uh, a little bit more. Getting back to the wheat, I'll bring this up here to uh, show you where we are here. You'll see that uh, we're really close to that 504 level. We got down to 505 and a half last night. And whether that's going to be anything of any significant or not, you know, we will be able to see here uh, pretty closely. But uh, we're already starting to weaken up again in stock.
We got down to the 2709 now uh, in the futures, and that uh, portends uh, a little bit uh, lower prices. As far as the currencies, you know, they're under a great deal of pressure, uh, and we've talked about that bullishness that we've seen in the U.S. dollar. Nothing has really changed. If you look at this on the longer-term picture of this U.S. dollar, we could be looking at something. Uh, we're already, you know, well above the 96 level, and uh, we're heading towards the par 100. So this means the euro most probably be looking at something around that 112 to 110 level on a longer term basis. And whether that'll have much meaning on the gold or not, usually there's a high correlation there. But with the flight to quality that we're seeing in gold here, that makes a uh, you know makes a big difference. So these are just a few of the things that we're seeing here early this morning uh, on uh, some of these. Uh, of stock indices and all the other things. The, the crude oil is giving up the ghost here, folks. We're trading here at uh, 76.66. We had a real chance yesterday to hold at that uh, 68 uh, 40 level. Uh, we did not do that. We went through there last night like it didn't even exist. And uh, it looks like we're down near uh, a, a beautiful ABC expansion here at the uh, uh, at 67.67 uh, a barrel, that's a 1.618 expansion of the previous day's range. So may may or may not mean anything, but uh, you know, pay attention to it because if it holds there, it does have a chance. But frankly, uh, I don't really think it does because we're breaking down below these levels like they like they don't even exist. Let me just show you here in the crude oil how how badly it looks. If you take a look here. Uh, We've gone through the 78% level. We're now down to the 78% level of the low in August. That comes in at that 6740 level. 6767 is where we are. So uh, this is uh, <laughs> you have to throw a lifeline out on these folks. You don't have to try to catch a falling knife. These markets have been very bearish and they continue to be bearish. So just wait and see what uh, see what transpires as you go through some of these things because they're very interesting. One of the questions that we're getting this morning is the fact that silver has been lagging and it continues to lag. Uh, it has not taken out those highs. Of uh, fact is, I'll just give you an idea. We're trading at around uh, 14 uh, 1485 1487 this morning, and as you can see, we haven't even begun to take out the highs of October, let alone the highs of uh, of September. And yet, with the gold, we're making a big A B C D pattern. So those are just a few of the things that we're keeping an eye on this morning and looking at them one at a time, of course. And that's a uh, well, the one thing that we do like to watch. Remember, folks, the one chart that we thought was the key, one of the keys, of course, was the um, the Dow Jones Transportation Index, that it was had a potential to break down, and uh, that is exactly what's happened. It started to do that yesterday. I don't think that was the cascade, but you'll notice it stayed there, that little doji for one day, and then bada-bing, bada-boom, down it goes uh, to the downside. So... These markets have not turned yet. Maybe they'll turn today. Maybe they won't. But longer term, they do have lower price objectives written all over them. So uh, just uh, sort of watch it because it's going to be an interesting phenomenon here as we see these things unfold uh, here this morning. So we did take out those lows in the S&P so far. Haven't gone much below it, which is a good sign. We got down to the uh, 2708 level. We're now trading at 2712. It's still very early in the morning, and we'll see uh, what's happening. The uh, the tr the bond trade, folks. Uh, the bonds the bonds have a really strong probability to get up here about another half a point at 139.12. That'll be a big A B C D. Of course, on the daily basis, it's also a 61 percent retracement to the previous high. And, uh, you know, that's just another way of uh, looking at these as we see them unfold that uh, we're, we're looking at something, you know, really closely that could see the market uh, turn dramatically if we get above that 140 level. Uh, that would be a flight to quality in the Treasury bonds. And, you know, we're, we're not up that much. We're up, uh, well, since yesterday, we're actually up more than a point, which is quite a bit. But on the day, it's really not very much uh, going on. So. Those are just a few of the things that uh, you have to have on your plate today. But uh, believe me, these uh, when you get into a cafeteria situation, you got to have lots of things on your plate. That's uh, oh, we had a question here about uh, uh, well, might as well cover it right now. Let's get it up here. 
that is on the IBM. It, just to take me a second here, someone has a question of whether IBM is going to hold this level. Uh, it has a profit objective down here, but it's it's going lower, folks. So, you know, like most of these things, they're just they just keep drifting lower. There's been so many signs that would tell you that these markets wanted to go lower, that it was uh, just amazing. About three and a half weeks ago, when we first started talking about this. Well, it was actually late September that, uh, you know, we had this momentum where the new highs to new lows was just absolutely horrible. And uh, the advanced decline line was absolutely horrible. And then we had the divergence between the NASDAQ and the Russell, which was, you know, bad enough. And then, you know, there were others there that were showing that something really dramatic was wrong. We're going to be right back with Norm Winsky of Astro Trend. Stay with us, folks. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full customization capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and I believe we have our friend Norm Winsky on today. Norm, are you there? Yes, sir, Larry. Good morning. Good morning. I'm going to pass the gavel to you and go right ahead, my friend. All right, I'm going to review uh, when I was last on your show on the morning of October the 8th. Go over what I said then and see how it came out, see if we can learn anything from that. I was on your show, like I said, the morning of the 8th, and I took a step back to Friday afternoon, the 5th, when we had uh, Venus turning to retrograde. Now, what is that for the new folks? 
uh, as the as the uh, all the plants go around the uh, go around at different speeds, and we're here on the big blue marble called the Earth. So just like when you're driving in your car and you're doing 60, if you if you even though your speedometer says you're doing 60 and you're going you think you're going forward, if you glance out your side window and somebody's passing you doing 70, you might get the impression it looks like you're going backwards, and that's what happens here on Earth as we pass the planets or they pass us. And there's a moment where if you were to plot the planets individually at night, you would notice that it appears, that's the operative word here, it appears that the planets look like they stop their motion momentarily and then reverse their direction. And when they stop, that's called a station point. And that apparently is a very powerful point for the markets. I don't know what the physics is, but my theory is that it causes some kind of uh, ripple through the solar system and to here on Earth. And the markets, so when the planets change trend, the markets change trend, okay? Uh, when in a little while we'll be talking about the other top thing I like, this is one of the two top things that I think are my most powerful uh, forecasting tools. The other is as the planets go around the sun, not only they're like horses on a carousel, not only do they go round and round, they also oscillate up and down. But we'll be talking about that in a little bit here, and that's very relevant to what's coming up here uh, tomorrow. As a, as a matter of fact, 248-year cycle, but we'll get back to that in a minute, so uh, stay tuned. All right, so on Friday afternoon, Venus turned retrograde. That means it stopped to go backwards, and that ha I think that happens like once a year or so, maybe, and it lasts for, it's going by backwards relative to the Earth. That's the key. Uh, for about eight weeks, and so that's a little uh, change in trend for plant for those markets re that are associated with the planet Venus, or it was in the sign of Scorpio. So we'll also be looking at those markets too. Now, when the, the, there's a tendency that when a planet uh, uh, turns retrograde, whatever uh, market that is associated with tends to have a negative influence on its price in in uh, for commodities. So let's take a look and uh, see what happened. So here we go. I have, This is exactly what I had in my notes and I told you about back on the 8th, and we'll see how that worked out. So here we go. Here's the 5th. There's a little pop-up high there, retesting the big high on the cattle, and then we went down from that top for the cattle. Okay. Here's the cocoa. That the, the, the kind of the opposite mirror image. Now Venus is a cattle. Uh, Venus, <laughs> cattle is a Venus market. Coco is uh, is here because of the sign Scorpio. It's not a Venus market, but it's with uh, Scorpio. Venus turned retrograde in Scorpio. So there you go. Now you can a nice base there. And there you go. Here's the last train to Clarksville on the upside. If you jumped in right there, you would have done right there on the fifth. There was your kind of your last chance to get in near the lows. Okay, same thing with the cotton. There you go. There's the last train out. And if you jumped in there, then you could have made some nice money. A Venus, that's a Venus market cotton. Here's your hogs. That's a Scorpio market. Uh, this is kind of uh, interesting in that if you drew your chan simple channels there, it was on the bottom of the channel on the 5th and popped right back, popped up to the top of the channel by the next day. So you could have had a two-way trade there. Could have gone long and then gone short the next day. I allow one day lee uh, leeway for these trades, you know. So you're still in the window the next day or the day before as a possible trade. Here's your S and P. S and P. Now here's here's a major principle. It's very simple but very profound and works uh, uh, very very well. And that is the key times give you the key prices. And if you have any folks out there have ever studied GAN, Mr. GAN would tell you that. Time is more important than price. If you want to simplify your training and improve your batting average, you have to know what the key times are, when these markets are likely to turn. No market will turn before it's time. You can have your Fibonacci retracements on there all over the place, and you'll probably, if it's not time for that market to turn, you'll if it's going up, you'll sell it at each level and get stopped out and go to the next level and keep getting uh, keep getting stopped out and lose money. Yeah, if you find the key times, you can get valuable information, not only most of the time, about 75% of the time. Uh, these key times will give you, uh, the market will turn for you. Every now and then we get where you get an acceleration, and how do you know that? 
Well, there you go. We get we create a little box at the key time. There you got your high, you got your low. You know, give it about a one day leeway, and there you go. Here's the fifth. Here's the Monday the eighth, and so forth. And if it breaks that level, then you've got an acceleration, and that's what happened with the S and P back there on the uh, that second week of October when it uh, had a big down. Just going to keep in mind this low right here at 27. I think 2711. Uh, tell me, I don't think I'm off by more than a buck on that. So the 2711 area is uh, essential today. We'll be talking about that in a little while. Okay, here's your sugar. I thought at the time we were uh, knocking on the door there just under 1300. I thought it was a possibility that we could have a top there at 1300. It did not uh, cooperate with that. It accelerated to the upside, and here's the deal. Uh, I call it the rule of exception. When things, when you break, a, when you break the normal pattern, the regular pattern, it's often bigger than if you uh, were, if it followed the regular pattern, you probably make more money. Uh -huh. Let me give you a simple example. You look at your head and shoulders pattern. That's like kindergarten technical analysis. You got your head and shoulders pattern. Have you ever noticed when a head and shoulders fails? That's often a bigger move than the, what you were expecting for the head and shoulders. You know. So let's call that the rule of exception. So here you go. We accelerated over our key prices here for the sugar because of Venus turning retrograde. And look at that. I think it's probably uh, a little more than it's also often a midpoint. I think if you measure it from here to here, from the bottom to that point there, that when Venus turned retrograde, and you uh, doubled it over and flipped it to the upside, you're probably that's about where we're. It looks like we might be topping out now. It looks like we may be breaking the channel here to the downside. It looks like it might be rolling over now. So there you go. That could be that move is done, you know. Okay, I gave you several great uh, principles there. If you go check them out, I think you'll find out they, they work really well. Okay, here's your T-bonds. That was make that did, that did I'm going to call this a miss. You see the red arrow is a miss. Green is money. Red is not. So anyway, I, we were off by two days on the bonds. At the time, the bonds were very weak, and it took two days for the bonds to the bottom. And so if it's not the next day, it's a miss. So I'm going to call that a miss on the bonds. Here's your wheat. Wheat was pretty good. I had two different things. Well, you'll see here in a minute. I actually had two different dates right together, a cluster for the wheat. Uh, for the fifth and the eighth, and there you go. We had a perfect, I think it was a perfect, almost a perfect double top there between the fifth and the eighth, those two uh, high bars there, and then we went down. Now, the next uh, group of things we're going to look at is that over that fifth weekend, we had Mercury hit zero south latitude. That's as the planets go around this. Oh, it's, it's break time. Just okay. take a break. Norm will be back with Norm Winsky of Astro Trans, 877-927-6648. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real State LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Jason Path has just launched his weekly newsletter, The Quantitative Edge, available only at tfnn.com. Right now, you can sign up for Jason's outstanding weekly report, including midweek updates whenever warranted, with a 30-day money-back guarantee included, so you have nothing to risk. 
risk. Jason develops his trade recommendations by creating an ensemble of predictive and mathematical models trained on data by leveraging a variety of techniques, including market-based computer simulations. Jason then combines these sophisticated predictive and analytical models with deeply researched macro outlooks to identify opportunities in a number of different markets for traders to act on. Whether you're looking to trade futures, equities, commodities like crude oil and gold, forex, or cryptos, Jason covers it all. Sign up for Jason Paff's weekly trading newsletter right now by visiting the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find the quantitative edge under the newsletters tab. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour, brought to you by Nadex, next on TFNN. Okay, we're back, folks. We're talking with Norm Winsky of AstroTrend. Norm, you want to continue, please? Yes, sir. So we were just wrapping up there with our last group was uh, due to Venus turning retrograde back on the afternoon of the 5th. We we're looking at those markets. One of those is wheat, but all, wheat is a grain, and all the grains are also associated with Mercury. The key to all the grains uh, are, in general, the moon and Mercury, as I like to tell my students. I've seen it said on your show a few times, Larry, if you don't want to use your brains, trade the grains, right? So there you go. You just look at the new moon, full moon. And and uh, different emotions of Mercury, and uh, it's pretty simple, you know. So here you go. I had two dates for wheat because we had a Venus thing happen, and then we had a Mercury thing happen right next to it. And so over the weekend of the 5th of uh, October, we had Mercury hit zero south latitude. That's, again, as the plants go around the sun, they oscillate up and down. And when they get to that midpoint, it's zero latitude. Whether they're going, If they're going up, that's north. If they're going down, that's south. That's a key energy point for the grains. So there you go. The next day, the next bar over is your Monday the 8th. That was over the weekend and into the Monday. And you had a double top there on the wheat. And then we dropped about four or five days. So you had a, I think you had, you know, not going to retire on that, but uh, you had a nice, <laughs> you had a nice uh, down move there. You could have made some money on the wheat, you know. Now let's look at some other grains because now we're going to be talking about the uh, the other grains and because it's mercury. Here's your corn. Corn did somewhat, somewhat similar. Just uh, pulled back uh, for uh, about four days there, and you had a chance to make a little bit of money. Here's the beans. Beans you had a little more volatility, like they like the beans do. And there you go. You nailed a nice top there on the beans right there on the on the eighth Monday the eighth. You see that? And then one to, down about three or four days. You know. All right, moving on ahead. Now we're going to look at the fact that the helio. That's from the point of view of the sun, Jupiter change signs that when from Scorpio to Sagittarius this sort of thing happens about once a year Jupiter takes 11 and a half years to go around the Sun and there's 12 signs that's roughly works out to just under uh, once one time per year so here we go Jupiter is a angle to uh, in Sagittarius you make it an angle to the sign for oil which is Pisces we already covered the corn and the uh, stock so you know what happened there here's your crude oil Made a little short-term bottom there on the on the uh, on the Monday the eighth, and then popped up for a couple of days. Looks like you moved up about a couple of handles. You could have made a little bit of money there. And here's your goal. This is one of the better ones. Oh, this is now we're going to move to another group though. This is for the fact that on the eighth uh, after the close that night, we had a new moon in Libra. So we're going to look at our usual suspects for new moons and full moons are greens, precious metals, and financials. 
because it, the new moon was in the sign of Libra, we'll also be looking at sugar, which I think we already uh, did those, but I'll go back and uh, check those here now. There we go. Here's your sugar. Your sugar on the 8th. That's where it was started to uh, had, uh, started to break out there to the upside. And we just looked at the wheat. There you go. And wheat uh, cooperated and made a nice little top there. And now we're going to look at our usual suspects. And one of the better ones for that full moon, I'm sorry, new moon, was the gold. The gold pulled back and made a very nice low right to the day there on the 8th. That was actually the low for, I think, about a week or so. And it did not uh, get as low as it was right around the 1st of October. But it wasn't much uh, higher. It was, uh, you know, a matter of a uh, very small amount of money there difference. And we retested that early October low. And then that was a beautiful time to be buying the gold. And then we went popped right up. There you go. Here's your dollar. The currencies, if you want to trade currencies, look at the moon, the new moon, full moon. I, when I was last on here on the 8th, I showed you where the moon gave you. That would have been a full moon in late September. That nailed the top on the euro, I believe, if I recall correctly. Here's the dollar. Now we're doing the opposite. Here we go with the new moon on the 8th. And right to the day there on the 8th is the top in the dollar index. And then you had a nice pullback. Okay, here's your euro doing the mirror image deal. Here, right there on the, uh, um, this was for the, after the, oh, after the, the night of the 8th, it was the, the moon. And the next day, these markets, these markets turned. The dollar turned on the 9th. I'm sorry, I told you 8th. It actually turned the next morning. The moon was that night. And so there's your euro on the night, turned on the night, and made a nice low there. Now we're going to look ahead, Larry. So we got, I wrote a report, as you probably know, in the October letter. That was sent out Sunday night, September the 30th, looking at all the different cycles. I found out that there were some huge cycles all converging for right around the 24th of October. That's tomorrow. So one of the first things I discovered was uh, that the there's a 18.6 year cycle as the moon goes around the Earth. It crosses the highway that the planets go around the sun. That's called the moon's north node. A node is a point of intersection. That point go travels through the zodiac in 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 backwards fashion in reverse order over an 18.6 year cycle. This is a major cyclic factor. If you correlated. Real estate prices, uh, I, there's a whole bunch of stuff that have been correlated. You might probably remember the old foundation of the study of cycles. They did all kinds of cycles research, and one of the top cycle clusters they came up, came up with was uh, between 18 and 19 years, and the moon's north node eight, is 18.61 years. Okay? Now, uh, the uh, several times er, uh, during the year, the moon will make a new moon, full moon, and might about uh, two or three times a year. It, it forms roughly a you know a wide fashion, about a 90 degree angle to this node. Okay, but it's only about every 18 years that it actually gets very very close, where it's very tight and they, everything's happening all within a few minutes. And guess what? That's happening tomorrow midday. We're going to have the uh, full moon, and there's going to be within a few minutes of that, it's going to be exactly 90 degrees to the moon's north node. Now I did further research and doing my getting put my work together there for October, and I run across that Pluto, which is a 248-year cycle, is going to hit its zero degree south node point, to, and it's due tomorrow. This is getting this is big. and then I go and do my GAN market math for the stock market, and I land on the only date that I get for the month. Is October the 24th. This is based on the harmonic of 115, 115 squared days. Equal, it comes out to tomorrow. From all oh, that's from the August 9th, 1982 low. 115 squared is 13,225 days. That comes out tomorrow. So I got this big convergence of all these cycles that are probably not related to each other. They're all kind of independent, and they all point to tomorrow. So that's uh, huge. I wrote my I sent, uh, when I saw Pluto involved. Pluto in astrological theory, and they they say that Pluto takes no prisoners when it's in a negative mode. Uh, <laughs> it's no prisoners. It just destroys. You know, it's bad. And, and so I called it the Black Swan Report. Uh, for you who have not heard that term before, the financial community has adopted the term 
black swan for you had some major disaster coming out of the you know, unexpected, like a 911 or something like that, that kind of comes out of nowhere and you don't see it coming, and it has the often a major disastrous effect. I see a this is a very uh, a potentially very negative day period we have here the next day or two when Pluto hits that zero south. Uh, latitude, because south latitude in astrological theory is considered to be a negative point. And Pluto is considered potentially to be a very negative planet. Okay. Take a few uh, questions. I have a question when we come back from our break, Norm, but we'll be right back after we pay a few bills. Okay. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. No matter what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. Whether you just plan on diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics including gold, silver, platinum, copper, the XAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining equities. Start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for The Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find The Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks. We're talking with Norm Winsky of Astro Trend. Norm, the question that the person has asked is, is there still the theory that Pluto is a planet or isn't it? What did they decide? Uh, they, they now decided that it's a planet, okay? Okay, it never stopped being a plan for me. It works great. I've had where <laughs> it turns uh, within a couple of minutes uh, during the day, you know, when I get the aspects to Pluto. All right, back to back to this now. So this is huge. This is a. I don't. You know me. You know me a while, Larry. I don't write stuff like this usually. I'm not. You know, one of the, you know those scared people trying to scare the uh, subscribers. You know, right? 
Yeah, I, I'm very conservative in my language, you know. So anyway, so we got Pluto tomorrow, and we got that moon cycle. So about 18 years moon cycle, and in the past, that is course uh, the moon cycles corresponded to some major lows in in the metals and the grains. And so watch for that. I think it may be, uh, you know, if they get a get a good whacking here on the grains, you might be looking at a nice low, you know. So uh, the metals uh, on the gold, you know, there's a, there's another uh, uh, related cycle with the moon's north node. In the sign of Leo, that's where it's been the last 18 months. It's getting ready to leave there, but the moon sort of is considered a point of abundance. So and you look at the last 18 months, uh, gold has not been doing so well because there's too apparently too much gold out there. All right, so there's you got you got your Pluto is the big factor to, uh, right around here. We want to keep your eye on look for extremes for cocoa, coffee. That's because it's in Capricorn, hogs, stocks, and T bonds. Okay. Those are your shots, your shot. That's your Pluto shopping list, okay? All right, and then we got one. So as I mentioned, coffee. This is the only chart I haven't we haven't looked at yet. And all I can tell you, as of last night, when I put these charts together, uh, coffee was breaking down. Uh, it's up channel here, so, and uh, I don't do, do not too thrilled with this. I like to sell markets when they're at their top or at their bottom. And when they just break it out, that's usually not good. It'd have to have a big move today and tomorrow to get in a position where I'd want to do something. We'd have to get back to the top of the channel and the bottom. Here's how you get a hold of me here if we're going away. I got a free class and a free letter if you get a hold of me right away. Coming up here in November. So that's uh, more of me, 239-594-3939. Here's my email. You can get a free class, free letter. I have 50 years of the market experience. Looking forward to helping your folks, Larry. Hi, folks. Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks!